It looks like GTA 6 is skipping the PC at launch. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? The game is confirmed to be coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S in 2025. However, there is no mention of a PC version at this stage. Take-Two Interactive, the parent company of Rockstar Games, announced this in a press release saying, Rockstar Games is proud to announce that Grand Theft Auto 6 is coming to PlayStation 5 computer entertainment systems and Xbox Series X and S games and entertainment systems in 2025. I really had hoped that this time it would be different and that the PC version would be released alongside the console versions. Historically, Rockstar has often delayed the release of the PC version of their games compared to consoles. For instance, for GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, the PC release followed the console release by approximately 6 to 7 months. With GTA 4, the gap was almost identical at just over 7 months. However, with GTA 5, Rockstar extended this gap to one and a half years. Similar scenario happened in the case of RDR 2. Releasing on consoles first helps Rockstar maximize sales on those platforms before tapping into the PC market. One major factor is piracy. PC games are generally more susceptible to piracy than console games, which can significantly impact sales. By launching on consoles first, Rockstar can secure their revenue stream before opening up to the more vulnerable PC market. Another aspect to consider is the optimization and enhancements for the PC version. Rockstar is known for not just porting their games to PC, but enhancing them significantly. The PC version usually comes with improved graphics, better frame rates, and sometimes additional content. This level of enhancement takes time and resources which might explain the delay. And of course, regarding optimization, there is one important issue that many people forget about. The PS5, like most gaming consoles, has a standardized hardware configuration. This means every PS5 unit has the same processor, graphics unit, memory, and other components. For game developers like Rockstar, this uniformity simplifies the game development and optimization process. They can tailor the game specifically for this set configuration, ensuring that GTA 6 will run smoothly across all PS5 systems. This standardization reduces the complexity of development and testing, allowing for a more streamlined process. Now, shifting to the PC landscape, the scenario is quite different. The PC gaming world is incredibly diverse, with gamers running a wide range of hardware configurations, from high-end gaming rigs with the latest processors and graphics cards to more modest setups, the variation is vast. This diversity presents a significant challenge for developers. They need to ensure that GTA 6 is not only optimized for high-end systems, but also runs adequately on lower-spec PCs. This requires extensive testing across numerous hardware combinations, which can be a time-consuming and resource-intensive process. Going further, Sam Hauser, the founder of Rockstar Games, states that Grand Theft Auto 6 continues our efforts to push the limits of what's possible in highly immersive, story-driven open-world experiences. We're thrilled to be able to share this new vision with players everywhere. He further added that, GTA 6 heads to the state of Leonida, home to the Neon soaked streets of Vice City and beyond in the biggest, most immersive evolution of the Grand Theft Auto series yet. It's reasonable to anticipate a delay in the PC release of GTA 6. However, there's also a possibility that Rockstar might manage to optimize the game for PC by 2025, aligning with their console release. So, while we might have to wait longer for the PC version, the extra time Rockstar spends on optimization could very well ensure that when GTA 6 does arrive on PC, it'll be an exceptional experience tailored to a wide range of systems. I'll of course update you if we get any news about the PC version of the game, so make sure to be subscribed.